Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Grace, if you're new here, and this is the Rusty Thicket, my little small business watercolor art shop. I make stickers and keychains and magnets, bookmarks, all kinds of little goodies right now while I'm stationed in Okinawa, Japan with my husband who is in the Air Force. This is the August studio vlog update. Um, I've only gotten to do one event here so far in August, um, and actually we are on the last day as of this recording, so there won't be another one. <laughs> um, I do have a couple already booked for September and October though, so hopefully lots more to show you as far as the actual events go. Um, most of this video is going to be me working on some things after this event that you're seeing here. This was run by our community center on base um, on Kadena Air Force Base. And um, we were holding an esports tournament the same day, so they let us all set up outside. Got lots of extra traffic. Um, I did pretty well for this. I think my take home was right around $400. Um, not amazing, but definitely not the worst event I've been to. Um, but let me tell you guys how flipping hot it was. Um, I mean, I was a melting disaster. I really could not believe how hot and how humid it was. I felt like those tents were really trapping it in on top of us too. Um, it did kind of cool off towards the end of the day and it got a little rainy, which was really nice. You'll see some clips of that here in a bit. It was a total vibe uh, by the time we were all done, but I just... I don't know if I could do another one quite as hot and humid as that one. So um, I actually have one coming up this Saturday, the first week of September, and it's supposed to also be outdoors, but we have a typhoon right around the corner, so I'm not sure how that's going to go yet. Um, but really, I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I'm working on for that event and for October coming up, because we are finally getting into autumn, finally getting into spooky season. So here are some line drawings that I did. I want you guys to just relax and vibe to this while we listen to some real good music. And I will catch you back here in just a little bit.
so I was really loving how that little boot was turning out and I thought it would be the perfect way to kind of get into my fall vibes feeling. Um, I really come alive when it starts to cool down. Unfortunately, it's not cooling down here right now, but that's besides the point. We're going to pretend, we're going to fake it till you make it, that the air is crisp and pumpkin spice is out, which it is in the States, but we don't get it until I think maybe it's tomorrow, September 1st, here in Japan. But I was really loving how this little boot was coming out. It's supposed to look worn and scuffed, so it's not a really even coat. Um, I've done one before like this where I took a lot of like paper towel to it and I just didn't want that texture on it. So I was trying to do like a whole wash that wasn't going to be, you know, I guess universal all the way around. I'm not sure that's the word I'm looking for, but... I just wanted it to be really cute and kind of scuffed up looking like it had been out in the mud and in the woods because it's full of moss and mushrooms and ferns and I just thought that was really cute.
right, and just putting the finishing touches on this, my favorite part is adding the white jelly roll and stuff at the end. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but I almost always add that to my paintings. And then of course, framing them. Um, while I'm here in Japan, I am doing almost exclusively original paintings and framing them in thrifted frames. Um, I just feel like an in-person shop, this makes the most sense for me right now since getting stuff manufactured and sent here isn't nearly as easy with my post office box situation. Um, I do hope to have prints and things like that in the future, which I've talked about on the channel before. But this is the final piece and I didn't know where my camera was, so sorry that it's a little off center. You can check it out on my Instagram. I've already posted it over there for the, the final reveal. Oh yeah, and I added that little blue butterfly because I thought it was perfect. Um, but here I am going ahead and doing this for all the other frames that I have thrifted. I make all of my artwork specific to every frame that I find. It's the easiest thing to do because I have to cut each individual piece of paper to the exact, si exact size of the frame. Otherwise, I don't know what size the artwork actually needs to be for it, each one and it can just get a little out of hand. Having to cut things down after I've already painted them is also really risky. And sometimes I just find the weirdest frames that don't have a normal size, especially here in Japan where they don't have, you know, like your typical wallet size and, and things like that. I'm obsessed with how this little candy corn background ghost came out with his little mushrooms. And I have a weird thing with lavender ghosts. I don't know. Anyway, here is all the stuff I have ready for my September 2nd event. It's going to be held at the commissary on Saturday and I'm really excited. And I would love to see your all's fall stuff too. So um, yeah. Uh, next week, we will be doing some kind of little fun something another. Um, we've got an excursion because today is my anniversary, 11 years married. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.